Hey everyone, Ross here from English for Football. Roger Ibanez. So this is a centre-back who is making a lot of impressions at Roma uh, in this current season. So we're going to take a look at a scouting report on him. So Liverpool and Arsenal are said to be looking at Ibanez. Um, he's having a good first season at Roma. The Brazilian's on loan from Atalanta at the moment and he's helped Roma to keep five clean sheets, which is quite impressive. After some adaption... Roma are now starting to have a good season and Ibanez is a key player in that. Let's have a look at some stats. So, so far, he's had seven take-ons. It's the highest uh, in his category, but his success rate is quite low. He has 164 duels contested, which is a very high number. 34 tackles have been made, which is the largest again compared to some of his other uh, high-scoring centre-backs. 64 aerial duels contested, which is above average success, a rate of 62.5%. Again, a high number. Uh, 11 blocks and 51 interceptions, which is the highest. So he's got some good stats behind him, which is uh, obviously making him stand out more. Position and role. So Ibanez plays on the left of three centre-backs for Roma. And what he tends to do is stay compact in defensive shape. And he splits when the team are in possession. So you can see him on the left taking shape there. He plays on the left of the three centre-backs there in that compact centre. So in possession, Banya splits to the left to give a passing option and receive the ball as well. He's tasked with progressing the ball out to the left or, or returning the ball back. So you can see him moving into that space there to pick up and receive the ball, which is what he tended to do for the majority of the game. Out of possession. So when opposition build from the back, he presses high onto the attacking midfielder. And when the ball moves out, he drops to form the compact block. So he gets tight when the opposition build from the back. And then he wins a challenge there in that situation. He pushes right up to number seven here. So he's pushing really high up. Now, he does that so that they can't build from the back. Again, here he is, pushing right up into midfield. Again, denying the passing lane. Ibanez is very comfortable on the ball. He can use both feet and switch feet quickly as well. So his technique is quite nice in that respect. Now, he's got good body orientation for switching play. Uh, he uses a variation of passes. He likes to clip balls into the channels quite often and he's good at carrying the ball forward to help the attack uh, construction as well so a nice header down to start with you can see him picking up a space on the left here comfortable with both feet moves ball back inside so he moves the ball at a good tempo as well takes a touch passes it doesn't dwell on the ball too much Moves it quickly. And again, he holds the ball very well. And he's very quick-footed. So he's comfortable at take-ons. He can do it to some success. And a very good decision with the pass. So his passing range is quite good too. He likes to chip balls into the top line. To Jekyll on that occasion. Again, into the channel. And he can switch play as well. So he's got a nice balance with his passing range. He's calm on the ball. Shows good anticipation here. And then he carries the ball forward. And again... He's also got a good eye for a pass. So a nice pass into this space here. And then a ball over the top. So tackling. Ibanez holds up the attacks well. He's not rash with his tackles. Not physically imposing though, and is a bit weak in some tackles. And he anticipates attackers' movements very well. So he's quite difficult to beat because he gets his body across. 
just like this occasion here. His body's in front, so he's difficult to beat. He stands up well and wins the ball. Again here, covers the space well to intercept. On this occasion, he loses out. He makes the foul. So attitude. He's positive with passing. He tries to pass forward when he can. Supports teammates very well. And there's a lack of communication on some occasions, though. He started the game very composed, but he lost composure later in the game. He started to give the ball away in some instances. And he makes some good decisions, but he could improve. He's a positive passer, so he makes quick decisions with the ball, as you can see here. Passes the ball very quickly. And he tracks defenders very well, so you can see him covering that space. He denies the attacker the, uh, the possibility of getting in. He has good positioning, so his anticipation is very good. Blocks the run of the attacker. And again, he anticipates and adjusts quite well there. And just as the game started to go on, he started to get sloppiness into the game. So his concentration levels dropped and he started to make passes without thinking. And here, poor communication with the goalkeeper. Nobody took responsibility and they lost a the goal because of it. Again, he just plays a, a pass too quickly without looking where he's playing it. And again there. He also started to become attracted to the ball and started to push too high up, leaving space behind. So that's something you might need to work on. Intelligence. So his awareness is good on some occasions, but he did lose track of players on, on a couple of uh, instances. He's good at reading dangerous situations as well, though, and understands the ball progression well. Uh, showed excellent anticipation and timing with aerial duels and movements. So here you see the good anticipation and timing that he displays. Wins the ball well. And then when they lost the ball, he dropped back into the defence and made it compact. Showed good reading. Here he is again. He just keeps an eye on that attacker. Follows him into the area. Gets in front of him. But then they lose concentration and uh, communication here. So he loses the player as they switch. And it could have been a goal. He does, however, cover very sensibly, as you'll see here. Smalling goes up. He stays behind. And again, Smalling gets high, loses the ball, but Ibanez has already dropped into that space to fill it. And here he gets across the attacker to, to clear the ball as well. Another occasion, he follows the attacker, doesn't allow that attacker to get in behind. He could maybe play offside on that occasion, but that might come with experience. On this occasion, he just covers a bit too much to the, the, the left and allows the attacker to have a sight at goal. A defensive transition. He drops back to cover small in anticipation of losing the ball and he focuses on being compact. So he covers for small in here. You can see they're about to lose the ball and he just drops in. And again here, you can see him moving towards small and to stay compact. And he's always covering for small in, in those spaces. In the offensive transition, Ibanez stays in the defensive position but moves wide to support. And when the team push high, he looks to join in the construction as well. You can see him moving out there to give the goalkeeper an option. He splits to the left. And then when they do lose the ball, he comes back inside to, to make things compact again. So he's quite intelligent at reading what to do in the transition. His strengths. So Ibanez holds his position well when on the back foot. He doesn't try to uh, tackle and engage the defender, leaving them exposed. He tracks runners well. He's very difficult to get past as he's, he's controlling the, the movement. He has solid positioning as well, good anticipation in aerial duels, and technically he's very good with the ball at his feet as well. So he's got a lot of good assets. Here you can see him just holding that line there. Again, he could maybe play offside, but he's trying to make the pass hard 
for the attacker. He recovers well. And the goal scoring opportunity is denied. You can see he's also very uh, relentless at trying to get that ball. He also remains quite calm in these situations. As you can see here, he's in the defensive line and he stays there. He doesn't panic and try to get to, to the attacker and they can't find a pass because of it. He does have weaknesses though, Ibanez. His communication, it needs to talk a bit more when picking up players. There's a lack of composure late in the game and he gets drawn into the middle of the pitch too often as well. So you can see here, he just loses sight of the attackers as they, as they switch positions. Him and Smalling needed to communicate to say who was going to take who. And then later in the game, he gets drawn to the ball a bit too much. He's very high up here. He comes flying in and the attacker beats him. Again, just a bit too tight in this occasion. This allows space behind. And one other area, although he's good in the air, he's actually a little bit weak as well. So he's not the strongest of, of players, which may count against him here again. You can see he almost gets bullied off the ball, but his technique is good to make up for it. So what do you think? Do you think Ibanez can be a success in the Premier League? Does he need to stay in Italy to improve his game a bit more? I think he probably does. How high is his potential as well? Has he got the ability to be one of the best defenders in Europe? Can he use some of the skills that he already has to, to transition nicely into a, the Premier League or a, a bigger club than Roma? So tell me what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.